For our Sandy July themed episode of On the Road, we're talking all about the sun angle and skin cancer. On July 1st, we see a 74 degree sun angle, about the highest we get throughout the course of the year. And with that comes a very high UV index. In fact, it is a nine on clear days throughout the month of July and during the month of June as well. And with that comes the concern for skin cancer. Cape May County has the highest by far rate of new melanomas age adjusted per 100,000 people. Also in the top five, Ocean County and Atlanta County is in the top half of the state as well. To learn more about skin cancer and how to prevent it, we talked to Dr. Magesh Sundaram of Atlanta Care to learn more about this matter. What are ultraviolet rays? These are the rays that we don't see, but they are still emitted by our sun in terms of radiation. Right, and you were telling me uh, beforehand that New Jersey is about average compared to the other states in terms of new cases of melanoma or skin cancer, but can we break that down even further? Is there a county breakdown or a South Jersey breakdown with that? The U.S. average of uh, cases with incidents per 100,000 of melanoma is about 22.4, 22.5, and New Jersey as an aggregate is sitting right at 21, okay? But when you look at the counties that are right up against the Atlantic Ocean or inwards towards the Delaware Bay, the Delaware River, these counties have a significantly higher incidence of melanoma. Is it possible to fathom a guess as to why that is? I think it's just a matter of looking at sun exposure and how much people are spending time on the beach. Uh, we get also, you know, both direct radiation from the sun in terms of ultraviolet B, but we also get indirect, which is reflective. And so one of the big concerns is, is that people may not realize is that they're out on the beach or on, on the boardwalk, uh, and they say, well, you know, I'm going to be protected from the sun uh, by putting up one of these large beach umbrellas. The problem is, is that ultraviolet B radiation can reflect, and it can reflect off of you know, smooth, bright surfaces, so like dry sand uh, or concrete, you know, they, the concrete or dry sand will actually uh, reflect about 35% of the direct radiation. So you can still catch a fair bit of indirect ultraviolet B radiation from all around you. And I think that's what's happening, especially when you look at some place like Cape May County, um, where, you know, there's just a lot of great beaches and people spend a lot of time. There's three different kinds of skin cancer. Explain yes. what they are and just in about a sense or two uh, what the different ones are. So the most common, you know, talking about 90% of skin cancers are the combined duo of basal cell carcinoma and squamous carcinoma. And so these are much more common. We see, you know, upwards of 3.7 million new cases diagnosed every year. A person can have more than one new basal or squamous cell cancer. Now fortunately the majority of these, the basal cell and the squamous cell, are cancers, they're skin cancers, but they're considered relatively benign in that we can go ahead and take care of them. Uh, dermatologists or skin experts can take care of them, but we have less concern that they can act like your typical deadly cancer in terms of uh, going to other parts of your body and harming you and potentially being lethal. Now, the other melanoma, the other skin cancer that's a lot more common uh, is melanoma. So malignant melanoma is the one that we're concerned about, the one that you hear a lot about as being you know, a deadly cancer. So it's much um, more of an issue of not only local control but from where it sits and how you manage it with the skin, but also the issue about it spreading to other organs and you know, damaging a person and then potentially being deadly. What is the survival rate of melanoma? And then how about for basal cell and for squamous cell too? I would imagine those two are pretty high. Yeah, so of course, basal cell, squamous cell are very high, you know, but better than 95%. Um, for melanoma, it really depends upon, is it caught early? Is it controlled early locally? Or has it moved to another part of your body where it's considered stage three or stage four melanoma? And that's where the survival rates drop. You know, one of the important things about getting really great survival or cure from skin cancers is early detection of a smaller cancer, but also prevention. And so prevention is where we, um, you know, just the average public citizen 
can do a lot of things in terms of protecting your skin surface from the harmful effects of ultraviolet B. Uh, certainly if you're going to go out on the beach, uh, the most common part of the body that you get basal cell squamous cell cancers is the head and neck, the skin of the head and neck, and your hands. So when you go out on the beach, you want to try to wear a, a floppy hat with a wide brim, and that's going to protect the skin on your face. Uh, the nose is actually the place where you have the highest incidence of basal cell cancer, so that's something we've got to pay attention to. But then beyond that, we want to talk about you know, screening activities, which again, Atlantic Care Cancer Program has a lot of great screening activities. We are out in the community, especially in the summer months, and we want to go ahead and make sure that people who come in and say, hey, I've got this questionable skin thing, what is it? Is it just a mole? Is it something more serious? We have programs that will help identify these questionable lesions and get people into early management of any early cancers.